Oh, yeah. dude, look at the colors. Ah, oh. oh, I give up, dude, man. Fuck whole... the Mark II. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Today we're going to be testing out my camera, which is a Sony A7R Mark II versus the one me and Mike just got, which is a Sony A7R Mark IV. The first test we're going to be doing is at this city view location. We're going to be testing just the general quality of the camera. We're both going to be using the 70 to 200. We're just going to take the exact same shot and then we'll just go and compare the quality of them. Can I borrow your phone? What? Can I borrow your phone? Why? <laughs> Don't put a camera in front of me, I get nervous. <laughs> Both cameras are going to be set to 135mm. The shutter is going to be 1 over 6. The aperture at f11 so we can get all the city in focus. We'll have the ISO set to 100. We never do this. On we time. never get, whenever we try and shoot sunset, we get to the location once the sun is set. <laughs> and by the time we've set up our cameras, it's, it's already done. Yeah. So today we've actually gotten it right. We're going to be having the cameras on a self timer for two seconds just so that there's no motion blur from us actually pressing down on the shutter. Now we're going to do the underexposed. Going to keep aperture at f11, ISO at 100, but we'll shoot at 1 60th. That's really underexposed, right? Ready? That's really I underexposed. I think that's true. <laughs> Some different dips. Where's the eggplant at? You told me not to get eggplant. Oh, that's right. One of the main things that I notice already about the Mark IV compared to the Mark II is the way like the camera is made in terms of the grip. When you hold the Mark IV, it just feels way better than the Mark II. Like you can actually properly hold on to it. You I agree. To, I have big hands as well. We're all over six foot, we all have big hands. I don't actually have terribly big hands, but it just feels very, very comfortable. <laughs> the camera is five and a half grand, so it's probably all aluminium, and yeah. magnesium, fucking carbon fiber. The camera body itself for the Mark IV is really expensive. It comes in at five and a half grand just for the body without any lenses. The A7R Mark II, you can pick up second hand online for around 1,500. <laughs> Probably the biggest reason I would buy the Mark IV is the shutter speed. Listen to the amount of frames we can get. This is the Mark II, ready? Now listen to the Mark IV. <laughs> it's like double. We're just in Chinatown and we're just gonna be pretty much going around with the 70 to 200. We're gonna have it at f 2.8 and we'll just get the same shots and compare them. Ramon, come a bit more forward I reckon. For this shot, we're shooting on 1 60th of a second. The aperture's at f2.8 because it's night time. We want to let as much light in as we can. And then the ISO's at 5000. So this will be pushing the grain a little bit, but obviously these cameras can go a lot higher than that because they're pretty much built for doing night photography and like low light photography. The screen of the Mark IV is just way better. Like the Mark II just looks a bit flat. We'll test properly when we get home and we look at it all on the same screen. One thing that this has and the Mark III has as well, which the Mark II doesn't have, is this little button here that actually allows you to move the focus point around. So. <laughs> Dude, the colors, bro. Yeah, the colors, I can't get over them. They just look so nice on this camera. So we're trying to shoot some fish here. We're going to try the autofocus. I don't know whether it's the camera or the lens. It's having a hard time locking onto the fish. Pretty sure it's more of a lens thing. Either way. Oh, yeah. dude, look at the colors. Ah, oh. oh, I give up, dude, man. Fuck whole, the Mark II. <laughs> <laughs> this whole video is going to be us talking about the colors of the screen. Like, I cannot get over like, how nice it is. It doesn't looks. actually matter because obviously you can change it in editing, but it just feels nice and makes you feel like a better photographer when you have yeah. good colors yeah. on your screen. Another thing that I noticed, if you're doing video, the record button on the Mark II is in the most annoying spot like whenever I take a portrait photo I often find myself just clicking that record button whereas on the Mark IV and the Mark III they've changed that so that it's in a really nice clickable position 
When you're just holding your camera, just having a fat lean, that camera just sits real nicely on your leg here. I want to have a fat lean. So right, here's the mark too. Alright, all right. have a lean. Have just have a lean. So I'm leaning, just having a fat lean. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. Mark here's four. Mark. Oh, dude. Yeah. Way better. Because the camera comes out a bit more here, your fingers can just hang off the camera a bit more, so like you don't have to focus as much when you're... What? <laughs> you're fucking kidding me. Mate, this is an act, this is a good review. Now we've got the 24 to 70 on. We're gonna do an ISO test. We're gonna push the ISO to 20,000 and compare the grain. So my prediction is that the A7R Mark IV is gonna handle the grain way better. Sick. Like, do you want to zoom yeah, in? Yeah. There's quite a lot of grain, but it's not it's, <laughs> it's not, not completely yeah. ruined like on the Mark IV. Okay, what I've noticed is the grain isn't as bad on the Mark IV. I think it's it just, just slightly smaller and there's a bit more detail retained in the Mark IV photo. Yeah. Let's do a blind test to see what the cameras feel like. This is the Mark II, yeah. I almost couldn't even tell just <laughs> looking at the fucking thing. We'll give him the Mark IV first. <laughs> Guess which camera? Mark II or Mark IV? The Mark III. No. What? No. no. You're wrong. Dude, it's what? Mark IV. Mark what? Four. Yeah. I feel the same. Well, that was a trick question. Blind test, me. I want to see. Is this the Is this the Mark III or the Mark IV? Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> So this is 1080p, 25 frames a second in good lighting. So the ISO is on 2000. You're not going to see that much grain in the image. You probably won't be able to tell the difference with this good lighting. So this is not the worst, but this is average lighting. So it's just nighttime in the city. I'm assuming the Mark IV, this is when you're going to be able to tell the difference. It's going to be able to be better in low light. I'm interested in seeing which one is better and if it's actually worth it. Because I do a lot of night photo shoots. This would help a lot because, you know, whenever we're filming at night, I need to vlog and I find that it's usually pretty grainy especially once you start pushing the ISO like I am now it's at 25,600 on the Mark II I know that it sometimes misses focus and has a hard time catching focus on my face whereas the Mark IV as you can see right now is just locking on it's perfect focus it's not like missing at all I think that's something that Sony has updated in this camera So the Mark IV was really interesting to shoot on. I think my expectations were a lot higher than what I actually experienced with the camera. It's a great camera, don't get me wrong. I just couldn't really see much difference in the actual photos themselves. Like, have a look. We've got the first ones here of the sunset. There's not really much difference there. You can see that you can easily retain the highlights. There's enough metadata in each photo, so if you accidentally shoot a bit underexposed, you can easily just bring it back up and that, there wasn't really much difference between the Mark II and Mark IV in that regard. I was actually quite surprised. Like even when it came to the night photos, I literally could not see a difference. Like, I don't know if I'm going crazy, but like, I thought this was meant to be like 20 more megapixels higher. The reason though that I would buy this camera is that shutter. 10 frames a second is amazing. And because I do a lot of street photography, I often have to like capture that one moment. And if my shutter isn't going fast enough, I'll probably miss the shot. Just listen to this noise, like ready? It's just amazing. Like, Dude, even just the fact that it makes the noise is a reason that I'd buy it. Oh, I could do this all day, just like... Dude, fire out. I also love the grip, like this feels amazing to hold. The battery life when it comes to photography is so important. On the Mark II, like if I'm out on a shoot and I'm vlogging and I'm taking photos as well, the battery might only last one hour, whereas on the Mark IV, you've got hours and hours of filming and taking photos before you have to change batteries. This review wasn't meant to be all like the individual little specifications and every little technical detail because that's not me. I don't do that sort of stuff. All I do is I go out, take some photos. If it can take good photos and like handle low light conditions well, which this one could, if it suits my style of photography, I think it's a good camera. I don't want to bore you and I don't want to bore myself trying to figure out all the technical side of this camera. I don't know what else I want to talk about this camera. It shoots fast, it's got a big battery, it's good in low light, feels good to hold. 
but it's five grand. Then the other thing that stands out about this camera is the video quality. At night, the A7R Mark IV is just insanely better than the Mark II. Anyways, that's all from me today. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. If you wanna go check out all those photos, head over to Instagram at 7th Era. That's where I post all my content. Uh, yeah, as always, don't think, just do.